Okay, this time hopefully I have more space on the phone, at least I tried. And you're going to get the reveal of my first set of girders. If you've been keeping up with the blog, you know that that's this is the whole reason that I got into casting in the first place, was to be able to duplicate the girders that I need for the Route 15 bridge in Weathersfield. So, you saw the pour earlier, taking the weight off. This is what you see. The resin is poured. Looks like there's a little bit of bubbling. The acetate is over top. And now we just peel the acetate off. And hopefully, we can get it to come off with little problem. Looks like it's gonna do okay. does want to pull up the resin a little bit, so be careful of that. Slide your finger underneath. All right, so that'll scrape off of the acetate it has before. So now we will try and remove the resin castings themselves. This may take a little bit, and hopefully I have enough space on this video to do this. I'm using a pair of tweezers to kind of pry under there, it's just really helpful to try and do this as gently as possible. Don't want to break anything. <laughs> you can break the uh, flash, I guess, but not anything else. Yeah, this is going to take a few minutes. So... Just running the uh, tweezers underneath the edges of the flash all the way around, kind of loosen it up a little bit. Let's get it to release. <laughs> Speaking of which, I might, might have been better off using some resin release, which I did not do, but uh, should be okay. So far, so good. So I'm just going to break that little bit off. Let's see how we do here. Actually, you know what? I'm going to take the mold right off the table here. And that's the way you do it. Just let the rubber fall away. Ooh, look at that. It actually looks like I know what I'm doing. So I think that came out really, really well. Almost looks like uh, an FNC kit. Look at all that flash. But look at all that detail. So, since you may have noticed in the previous video that I had a bit of uh, resin left, <laughs> whoops, resin left over in the cup, I decided to use it up Instead of wasting it, I just poured myself another casting of the gondola load. Just dumped it in there. Had actually just enough to, uh, to do it. Didn't even bother with the, uh, the acetate because I was using it anyway. And all that. And this is how it came out. Exactly the same. You can hopefully see that. But here's the difference. I did not put the acetate on. It's actually a little bowed because it's not flat there's no acetate did not weigh it down so it is very glossy you can kind of see that and and rough no problem it's a gondola load so you're not going to see any of that but just something to keep in mind if you do need something that's perfectly flat this this is the previous casting that i did perfectly flat i used the acetate and weighed it down so you see the uh, the difference, but no big deal. I've got myself an extra extra casting for my buddy Roman. So yeah, looks like the uh, phone is holding up too. So I'm not going to press my luck any longer. Hopefully this video wasn't too long, but you can see what's involved in removing the casting from the mold. Mold is reusable. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to use it to cast another set of bridge girder pieces, and I think that might be all that I need is three courses. The originals, which I'm going to have to figure out how to get off the foam core. That's the original Shapeways parts that I use for masters. And then two sets of copies will give me three 
courses under the bridge and that should do it. Thanks for watching.